Hi guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. So today's video we're doing another episode of 365 Days of Art. We've completed a fair few prompts. Last week we completed these few. Um, if you haven't seen that you can check that out. I'll put up a little link in the corner for you. And then this week I've been doing some more prompts. So this was a blindfold challenge so I couldn't see what I was drawing. Some extra details on the flowers. Draw a place that I've seen and then added some extra details on these bees. So moving on to number 86 use the grid to draw geometric shapes they could be 2d or 3d so of course i wanted to do a rubik's cube here is my lovely mariah elizabeth rubik's cube that i'm so proud of uh, but i will be doing the classic rubik's cube today so i went in with pencil first just because i was scared and then went in with my fine liner and i've done two shapes one of which is a little bit odd looking but it's cute so it's okay and then I'm going in with the classic colors using red blue and green on the big one and then on the little one blue yellow and orange now I'm using my ahuhu um I always find it funny saying that word ahuhu um <laughs> water-based markers and then we're moving on to 87 which is using colored paper cut out letters to form a word name or phrase and i thought i'm going to continue the theme on this is all going to be very rubik's so i'm going to do lots of squares and use the same colors that are on a classic rubik's cube red yellow orange green blue and added white in there because white is on the classic rubik's cubes i know i didn't put white on the ones on the left but you can only see some of the sides using my posca paint marker to just tidy it all up a little bit and make those lines nice and pretty and then i'm gonna head on over to my computer i'm gonna write the word rubik's and change the font and make it nice and big and then i'm gonna print that off so that I can cut it out very carefully and stick it onto this page to just, you know, finish it off and to actually follow the prompt because I was supposed to cut something out and put a word on there. So yeah, that follows the prompt. Anyway, here it is. I hope you enjoyed that video. Do watch some more videos and if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel and I will see you tomorrow for a tiny Tuesday. Bye.